play how to craft network YouTube live and it comes up for you and you can watch at your ease if you're cooking the dinner if you've got one in the kitchen so just say as I have just said there hey Alexa play how to craft network YouTube live and it will come up for you all of the recent ones as well. So we've made it so it doesn't come up with the older ones. It comes up with the new and relevant ones as well. We do have lots of shows in the How to Craft Network for you all. So you're all chatting amongst yourselves. <laughs> oh God, have I set it off at home? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's talk about the counter because it's why we're all here. And hopefully there's something on the counter that you like. Do bear in mind if you have an order on our website and it hasn't left the building, you can add the order to the previous order. But I think we've caught up. Have lots of you had dispatch notices for lots of goodies? Um, I hear some of you have had five and six notifications to say they're out of the door, which fills me with joy because it's like cleaning that slate and then we can move on. So that is there as an option for you. Let's talk about item one on the counter. Now, these are the stamps that we bring to you solely in the How to Craft Network studio, and they are at a cheaper price point as well. As you'll see, they're not in the envelope design that are um, more expensive. These are at a cheaper price point. It doesn't mean the stamps are any less worthy, though. They just come in this beautiful backing card for you. So we have two A5 stamps totally new never seen before we put them live a couple of hours ago you've already spotted them some of you i did notice i was told that they were selling already so the item number for this one is 100267 now this one here with that beautiful tulip design on there is very similar to the one that sold out which you're all asking me for so if you are into that design this is a great alternative however i did order the other one you were all asking for so you get two focal points some beautiful sentiments and i will use these in my demo demos and I will be using them throughout the course of studio as well as you all know we try and revisit products that you've purchased from us in the studio shall I just show you some beautiful beautiful samples let's go this side so let me just shuffle them all together make sure they're all the right way hadn't had a second to check them all for you so let's just have a quick look at some of these lovely um, samples here we've got them dotted all around the studio as well and you will find the um, design team have used many of the items in the show alcohol markers are in the show to create that lovely outline get the shading in the flowers as well on top of with the sparkle pens as well so here we go let's just have a quick flick and pick here we go. I mean, look at that. These are using your beautiful alcohol pens that are in the show as well. Your watercolours and your sparkle pens. Beautiful. Oh, what about mixing it in with stencils? We do have stencils in the show as well. So you've got lots of options today, ladies and gents. Lots of options. And as I've said, if you are just coming for the fun, we do appreciate you calling whatever. So oh, that's a beautiful one, isn't it? So oh, look at this one. This will be with the confetti ink onto the black there and then the last one on there. And this is that beautiful flower and outlined with a grey pen. I'm hopefully going to show you this one so you'll be able to see the technique on there as well. Beautiful samples. Thank you very much, my design team. Always on it incredibly well. Thank you so much. So that is item number 100267. If you are shopping for the first time, if you are here for the first time, it's a lovely place to come. On our website, you just need to pop that code into the search engine and it'll bring up all of the items that are in show. We also have our amazing deals tab as well. And if you click that, it will show you all of our recent launches, which are all new and up to date and product is still available. So click that awesome deals page. There is Thirsty Brush from the lovely Emma. There is Aymala from Carly. Simon's on there with his officially awesome fishes and things like that. So go and check out those as well. And as always, the videos never go away on YouTube. You can always catch them in your own time. So the item that is now on the counter, item two, which is amazing. I love stencils. So we have a beautiful collection of stencils. Now, the ones that went to TV last week sold through in like half an hour so this is the next rendition of our collection super affordable so if you know your budget's not great and you're wanting a little bit of a pick me up 15 pounds for those stencils 25 64 club member for all of those eye zincs very nice very nice i need them well i have three colors not them i haven't got them all Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. So it's lovely to see you all. As always, I say it every time and it doesn't change every day. Just freezes at the same point. Are we having a little bit of a problem? Just bear with us guys. 
Just give it a little bit of a nudge, a bit of a restart. Give it that. Come on, get going. So let's say hello. So, oof, lots of names. I'm just going to give it a second though, just to catch up. I'll have a, I'll have a drink of my coffee. Afternoon, Donna. Adele, yes, I'm back. I'm back, everybody. I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. Quick snooze. I'm back. Oh, Donna's not feeling great today, so she's not gone to work. So you missed everything about the stencils. Oh, oh, you missed everything after the stencils. Oh, gosh. What we'll do... Oh, I think we're back. Can we do the product recap again, Tim? Just so I can quickly go through. I'm just going to go uh, through the recap again. Now you're all back. Very quickly, for those of you that missed out. So we have the alcohol markers, sets of six in each with that beautiful brush nib 1081. Two A5 stamps, just a quick recap for you. 100267. And the brushes in show, obviously we had them on TV today. Uh, the price is not different, but you do get the 10% extra on Create and Craft. So shop where it suits you, 100269. There you find tip brushes. We also have our watercolour brushes. Apologies, flat tip brushes, 100270. And then we have the Cheshire plate cover die, 5x7, 100271. Stencils, 100272, three 7x7 seven seven stencils, stars, dots, and squares. Eyes ink bundle, absolute must today, guys. 100273, 2564, incredible price. Until it's not moving, um, isn't the TV, and it looks like everybody's saying it's still frozen. No? Okay, well, I'll, I'll carry on regardless. Carry on regardless. So, are we all well? Love those fine tipped ones. Yeah, ergonomic handles so you can be able to paint with those. So if you are tuning in for the first time, thank you so much for joining us. Now that you're here, you probably will be with us all the time because it's a lovely place to come and get a smiley face and enjoy the love of craft. Let me know where you're all from. Where are we all from today? I'm back. Everybody says I'm back. Right, let's do this. So first of all, let's cut the Cheshire plate so you can see what it is. We need the Cheshire plate in our lives. This is going to be one of those lovely background dyes that where white on white, sorry, everything's white on white in my, in my world. <laughs> so look at that, absolute belter of a dye is that one, isn't it? And it gives you that illusion that you get like the raised element in the centre and then as the um, sort of oval um, circles descend into the background, you get that sort of like um, hump in there, should I say. So there we go, look at that. Really, really nice, isn't it, hey? Brilliant. So let's have some fun. Let's just grab a piece of white cardstock first. Let's just cut it through on my machine here. So I'm just going to pop it on, maybe put it on a slight angle. Hopefully it'll cut all of the elements on there. Bromley and Kent, Pauline. Does the Cheshire plate come with Cheshire cheese and crackers? No, it does not. Sunny Berkshire for Bridget. Preston, Lancashire for Bernadette. It's interesting to see where you're all from. Angela Brennan, Kippets, West Yorkshire. I know Kippets very well. Carol's from Surrey. You are cheeky. You're... We're having another box scenario, aren't we? Hockley in Essex from Teresa. Just grab a tool here. So let's show you how cool this is. Cold grey Kent. Now you could, of course, paper piece these back in in multicolours. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Oh, that is so cool. Let's just pop a piece of card behind. So that's mirror card. Shall we just pop some colour behind? Because I think colour might just stand a little bit better. Let's just get a nice pink. See what we've got going on under my stash here. But equal, equally, you could just paper piece one of the white lines back into the centre there. I might use this in my demo. I'm not sure where my demo's going today, but 
will have fun regardless. 100271 for the cover plate, okay, so if you like that one. And that is really in keeping with the Alice plate that you all bought. So if you like the Alice plate, I'm sure you're going to love this one too. So let's just set that aside for a second. I'm going to have a play with lots and bits and lots of bits and pieces and hopefully we might be able to get a card out of it at the end. Oh, ooh, it's cold, isn't it? It is quite cold. Let's have a look at our beautiful stencils because I want to use the eye zinc because I just love the eye zinc 24 karat. So here we go because it's not messy. We don't do mess, do we? Let me just straighten this mat up a little bit so you can all see what I'm doing. There we go. So the colour I'm going to use is this lovely, these two colours here. So I have that silver and that silver's got like multicoloured um glitter in there and then we have the lovely orange which has got it has blue it has a pink and i think it has a silver in there so if you are um buying the stamps which probably all of you are there is a lot in baskets if you did miss out on the first stamp um from this range which we are just launching in the how to craft network it was the beautiful envelopes and it was this one here on the counter but if you are wanting to go back to this one the item number for this one is 100187 okay the one with the envelopes and the flowers coming out of the top which is this one here there we go so this was the first one we did handmade and the next two are on the counter as a pair okay so if you missed on that one 100187 so let's have a look at these stencils which shall we use polka dot stars squares i'm leaning towards stars jan the mat won't be long it won't be long I promise so i'm using the stars here and as you can see i'm using it for the very first time so Valerie's from Merseyside. Welcome, Valerie. Merseyside. There we go. So let's grab our cardstock here. Let's just do a, a little sort of shimmy of colour, shall we? So we do some stars. Oh my gosh, where do we start? Oh, it's just so cool. Shall we do it like it's coming coming down our page? Like a little bit like snow, maybe? Do you think we get away with that? So let's just pop that on there. Now, if you do have some tape, hold it down. Thankfully, I have my tape to hand. Shirley loves the stencils. Yeah, we're going to be doing lots of stencils. Uh, and the reason why we're doing stencils as well is they're inexpensive. Okay. Um, and I think we can do so much with a good stencil. You know, it's okay bringing stamps and dies out, but sometimes they... It becomes a little bit diluted because there's so much of it, isn't there? So I think a couple of stencils here, there and everywhere keeps everybody happy as well. So let's just cut some of this away here. So let's just hold this in place on my mat. Could use my magnets, actually. However, I'm changing the magnets. They needed to be stronger, so I'm just waiting for the new ones to arrive. What's a daisy? Just pop that down there and then we'll just pop another piece on the base. Is anybody doing anything nice this evening? Um, my son starts cricket tonight, back at cricket for 2022. So I'm going to be stood out in the cold later today watching him play cricket. Um, anybody else doing anything? I'm just going to probably hold that there. So I have a spatula. And I have the two colours that I've decided on. So let's go, shall we? Ooh. I'm just going to be a bit sporadic, I think. I love these because they're not messy. Okay, they go on the... I put A lot of people put on the mat and pick up. I go straight onto here. And I haven't got to touch it. It's not on my mat. It's not messy. That's why I like it. And it stands up when I put it down as well. So let's get some of this lovely colour through this stencil. So I'm just going to go a little bit sporadic. I'm not going to go like formal. You can hear it scraping through. A little bit more. So a little bit here, a little bit there. See like... When we do this on TV, we've had this on TV, haven't we, as well? We just don't get the time to physically play, which is sad, really. 
But that's why we have the How to Craft Network, so we can do it ourselves, you know, just help. So there's the orange, so I'm just making sure all of the orange ones are actually orange and not sparse. And then I'm going to take that lovely, lovely silver colour and fill in those spaces. Make sure I wrap up warm, it's freezing, I know. I'll be getting involved, I'll be asking coach if I can play. So here's that beautiful sort of silver. which now has gone a bit green because it's mixed with that um, orange, but you know, it's still sparkly. Let's get some up here. And this is what I was saying about a little goes absolutely a long way. Tiny, tiny amount here. And it dries really quick. You can blast it off with your gun if you want, but really a couple of minutes, I think. As long as it's not like thick, a couple of minutes and it's, it's pretty much dry. So I, could, I will set this aside and let this do its magic whilst we move on to something else on the counter. have to say though, that looks pretty awesome. So let's just clean this off first for a second. I don't want it to go hard. So the item for the stencils, these are the two most popular things in the show are the stamps and the stencils. I don't blame you. Um, lots and lots in baskets. 100272 for the stencils. Um, don't panic though, please don't panic, we have lots of them. Hopefully our people who watch later, because a lot of people watch later after work, don't they? So there'll be some left for them. So let's just um, lift this off here. Holy smokes. Look at that! Let me just move it out of the way. So you can see from the mess. That is so cool. Let me just set that aside. That should really go into some water. I'll have to scrub that, won't I? But let me just, um, while it's just on the overhead, I will just give it a tilt and a wiggle so you can see that sparkle. And it doesn't get much sparklier, I found, when it's dry. Okay, so probably that is as sparkly as it's going to get. However, we will monitor that because... Um, you know, it is what it is, but we can check that. So let's just clean our counter here. So Adele's going to have a play tonight. Shirley says, lovely colours. So let's set that aside. So at the moment, we've run the cover plate die through. We've run the eyes inks through the stencils. So we've got lots and bits and pieces to go at, you know, for our maybe our potential card. So we have the two stamps that are in the show, okay? Two A5, beautiful stamps. Where do I start? Oh, a decision. I think I'll go basket. Let's go basket. I don't know why. Let's go basket. <laughs> so let's just grab some cardstock here, some white cardstock. So I haven't had a chance to play myself. These are brand new out of the packet. They're like, oh, they don't stay clean for long though, do they? Here's soon as we get our mucky paw prints on them. Absolutely. Two minutes in, all like they've been through the washer. So Eureka. Let's just pop this in here. Pop our stamp down. Let's get this stamped out. But before I do that, I need to clean the door because some mucky pups been at it. Who was last in here? Who was last in studio? Was it me? <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I was going to blame Simon, but I can't. It was me. <laughs> Which mucky pup? Honestly. So let's pick up this. You know, sometimes I do worry myself. So if you are on a platform where you can share this live right now, please do so. Um, we need to encourage lots of people to come to the How to Craft Network studio. Because I think once they see us 
being creative and they also see the lovely ladies and gents that join in on the live chat who are supportive of each other um i wonder where they've been won't they for all this time because i know a lot of you have been here since 2014 when i set up this channel 2014 oh my gosh where's the time gone is that not just beautiful or is it just me Shirley's bled saying you're naughty telling Simon. <laughs> right, so let's add, let's take this out of here for now. I'm just going to quickly fussy cut this very quickly because it's an easy one to fussy cut. And I think this will look really nice on our um, starry background. And again, it all boils down to, would you normally put stars with a bouquet of flowers in a basket? Probably not, but today we are, because we can. So what I'm going to do today, because I'm just so sporadic, um, anybody who comments underneath this live video, I'm going to give, all the, give away all the products that I've used live in show. So there'll be definitely this stamp. There will be the cover plate. There will be the little bit of eye zinc. And there will be that star stencil too. So all you need to do is when we've gone off air, pop a comment underneath this video. If you can, I don't know how, but if you can, share. Maybe you can share this. Well, I don't know where you're watching. If you're watching on Facebook, share to another group if you can. Or... Um, share to a friend's page so they can see it um, and then we'll, I'll pick a winner and still need to announce the one from Facebook but honestly I always get around to doing them I never say I'm going to do one and don't so there we go so I've cut that um, basket out there and I'm just going to grab the alcohol markers just to add a bit of colour to this basket show you how cool they are mind you I have stamped in the wrong ink but all the same let's see how it goes so if you are using your alcohol markers, you need to use the Memento ink, okay? And if you are watercolouring, you need to use the VersaFine. So I always put, like on ink pads, put a big W for watercolouring and a big A for alcohol ink, so you know exactly which ink pad to use. Grab some paper. Oh, Pauline Shed, thank you so much. I'm just deciding what colour I'm going to use. I think we'll go with that one. Let's do. So because you get the shades, the cool and the warm, let's just move our Eureka so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to add a little bit of colour to these squares. And when you add the colour, the alcohol evaporates. So if you get the lines, don't keep going over and over again. Just let the alcohol evaporate and the lines will disappear. Now, I'm, I'm not... Um, it's not bleeding the ink too much here, so I might get away with it, but make sure you use the correct ink, okay? So I'll just colour a couple of these squares. In fact, I will quickly colour the whole thing. So I've gone for one of the lighter colours from this brown collection, which is the alcohol markers that are in the show. So I'm just getting that initial lay down first. Now, the lovely Sharon on our design team is the expert colourist when it comes to alcohol markers. So if you have any questions about what paper to use or what ink to use, you know, she's, she has also helped a lot of people. She has done a couple of videos as well, which are located on the Eureka fan page. So if you want to know, if it's something you're thinking, do you know what, I'm not into watercolouring, but I quite like the idea of a pen, then go and check that out as well. I'm quickly just covering the basket here. Don't want you to sit and watch me colouring. That black's fared really well, actually, to say it's the wrong ink. I've got away with it. So I would say probably if you have got the wrong ink, just still give it a try. So 
I'm just going to call up Basket. I don't want to bore you all to death in my colouring. So I've coloured the base of the basket there very, very quickly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a darker um, shade of the brown. And where the lines are on the basket, I'm just going to sort of enhance a little bit. So it'll just give me a little bit of light and shade so it actually looks like the basket has been weaved. But do remember to go with the lines on the stamp. The stamp with the lines are there to help you. So make sure you go with the lines on the stamp. Don't go against them, OK? So I'm just flicking where the lines are on the stamp. And this is going to help get a little bit of dimension on there. I'll hold it up in a second. So where those lines are, I'm just going in with the darker shade of brown. And as it evaporates, it dries a lot lighter. So if you lay it down and you're thinking, gosh, oh, I wish I'd not picked that pen up now. It's a little bit dark. Just give it a second or two just to sort of give it the chance to evaporate because it always dries a little bit lighter. So you can see there, if you're thinking, I like the smooth, the smooth idea, go back over with the lighter colour pen and blend it together. Okay, so I can go back over now, and as you look, as you can see, it sort of like pushes it all back. But you will still get that light and shade. I'll show you in a second. There's an absolute fine art to an um, alcohol marker colouring. I absolutely love it when I've got the time. And there are lots of hints and tips and little tricks that we could all learn to sort of like make ourselves better at the alcohol marker colouring. So have a look on the page as well. So you can see now I've sort of like just gone over giving it that second layer of colour and it's sort of enhanced that time but I still have that light and shade in that basket area. It's really, really, really easy. Shall we just um, paint the handle a little bit? Let's just... Uh, Leslie, just personal message me about a Eureka mat, sweetheart, and I'll sort it out for you. I'm just using this um, finer tip here. I'm just going in to the handle. Now, if I was at home, I would look, I'd spend the time, get my alcohol markers out and colour those beautiful flowers. But I'm mindful that you're not going to sit and w want to sit and watch me just do this all day. So let's just dry this off here, look. Let's see where our card's going. I have no idea myself. Let me just put my pens away. So I've used these, so these are going to be part of the giveaway. So all you need to do is pop a comment after we've gone live underneath this video. So that's going to be part of the giveaway. I'll just pop that to one side. I'll have a slurp of my coffee. So I'm just going to blast. Is there any chance we could have a look at the beautiful samples from our design team? He's looking at me googly eyes and saying, are you kidding me? I was just going to have a look at those samples simply because I want to blast this off with my gun, but he gave me the eyes as if to say, don't even dare. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you about some of the most popular items on the counter whilst I'm drying, so I'm not going to bore you. So the item which is the most popular is obviously the stamps with the basket I've just used there. Let me just grab my sheet here. Thank you. So that's 100267. And then we have the stencils as well. And they're also really, really popular. Oh, thank you for sharing, everyone. That's really kind. Hopefully a lot of new people will see us because we're not really allowed to speak about it on air at TV. So you have to obviously... Um, respect that but if I could I would love to tell everybody and shout from the rooftops about our studio so I'm relying on you guys to do it for me
There we go. Sorry about that. We had a little bit of miscommunication. So they are the beautiful samples from our fabulous design team. And I always like to show them because they take the time to make them. So I always want to show my team off. So I'm going to just use one of the sentiments from this lovely wicker basket set, which is those two, uh, you get the watering can with the flowers in there. And then you get this sort of like really cool basket with the flowers popping out of the top there. So I'm just going to use one of the sentiments. This is now dry absolutely dry but if you wanted to leave it to air dry it doesn't take that long but i just needed to push it along a little bit there so we've got that lovely orange and silver on there so let's just get rid of this one on here and let's get our sentiment so in this one we get some lovely sentiments you are amazing and it's in a chunky font and then we have you are beautiful and make a wish i think i'm going to go for you are amazing because it's a smaller one which i think i need so I'll just pop this into here barbara if you can um you can inf you can email at info at stamps by me just put your contact number on there sweetheart and one of the girls will give you a call if you're struggling with your voucher So let's stamp this one out in black. Oh, I love this one. I really like this one. You are amazing. Hey, you are amazing. Hey, we should make a song. A Eureka song. <laughs> so I'm just cutting that one out there super easy i'm torn i'm torn what i'm gonna do now because i want to use that cheshire plate as well i want to use that cheshire plate oh what do we do guys what do we do so let's get this onto our backing card here the black we've got lots of people joining us now Hi, Susan. Let's pop that sentiment onto here and then I'll just, I'm freehand cutting it because my cutter is in my bag from TV. Susan's from Leicestershire. Welcome to the channel, sweetheart. Lovely to have you here. So I'm just going to use my scissors. You use your guillotine at home though, hey? Make sure you keep it nice and level and smart and presentable. <laughs> oh. Don't forget to click subscribe. Stay with us then. Right, so let's have a look at the components we've got going on in the show. So everything that I've used, I'm going to do as that giveaway as well. So I can't get out of it now, I've said it, can I? <laughs> so we have our Cheshire plate die, we have a panel with the um, lovely stars on there, which is now dry, which I need, I do really need a guillotine, Tony. Oh, I have, oh, I just want to look at that. Cray, crikey, I have my guillotine here. I'm going to cut this one down. I am absolutely just going for, for it here. Absolutely just going for it. So let's have a look at, oh, look at that. Do we think, well, let's just trim it down a little bit more, just one second. Oh, it's coming together now. I feel a little bit happier. <laughs> and let's mount it onto some black. And then that's when it really pops, doesn't it? Really lovely. No, Sue, I know. I did mention it in my Facebook Live that I was going to be on today. Um, so always check our Facebook lives and the schedule and please check out the awesome deals page. We've got lots going on, lots going on. You could absolutely spend a day on our website. You've got the um, how to guides from Karen. You've got the video inspiration. You never get any washing done at home. I promise you. Let's just trim this one down. So here we are, look, so we've got that lovely panel behind there. That looks cool, doesn't it? I think that just needs to go on a white card, white on white. You're probably screaming at me saying, no, please put some colour behind. 
Let's see how it goes. Let's see what card I've got under here. Just one second. So let's get a card blank. Hopefully I've got a nice five by seven one here. What's this one? Is this one too small? Let's try. Oh, like it was meant to be. <laughs> Everything's working out for me today. Does anybody else have those days where some days just nothing goes right? It doesn't matter what you do. Even being the most positive, some days you just cannot do anything right and then other days everything just seems to work like today everything seems to be working i've just had a fabulous show on the four day deal over on create and craft amazing with the lovely paula and then the traffic was kind to me to get me here now i'm absolutely crafting off the off the cuff here and i'm absolutely loving it how it's coming together <laughs> <laughs> so I'm having a good day. What's not going to be great about my day is later when I'm stood in the cold watching cricket. <laughs> I'll just stick that one flat. I love this plate. If you just do the black paper PC elements back in in black, maybe like the um, Alice plate, it's going to give you that sort of illusion again. So let's pop this one on underneath. We'll pop a pad underneath. So again, you've all got these lovely stamps in your basket. Just be mindful though, we don't leave them sat in baskets for hours if you can avoid it. Um, I don't want anybody to miss out later. We have lots of them, so I'm not overly concerned about it, but come later, if they're still sat in people's baskets, they will be removed to give other people the chance. I know a lot of you like to put them in your basket and then go and peruse, which is absolutely fine too. So we have that. That is so gorgeous. I'm going to stick this in the centre. Then we have our lovely basket, which I'm going to 3D to. And I will pop this card in for the winner as well. Not that it's great, but I am absolutely happy with it to say I was given a handful of products five minutes before the show. So normally you all know I have my demos prepped, so I'm not used to crafting like this i'm super organized normally so but i'm happy enough to give it to one lucky winner i might offset that slightly i would color these take the time to color them because it would look really really cool and then this one Oh, don't worry, Sue. Don't worry, sweetheart. And then pop this up here like that. You are amazing. Shall we just pop a few sparkles round? And then I think we're literally good to go. So the, the stamps, 1002672659. But if you are an entrepreneur or a craft room or even a hobbyist, you're going to get that price further. The price is going to absolutely come down. Um, so get those savings if you are shopping ahead, pop it in your basket, have a look at the end result when you come to your basket and see what the savings are. The savings are broken down for you to show you what is part of your club, what is part of all of the points that you've accrued. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go bright today. No, oh, they're a bit too much. They're, they're too, too much. Listen, <laughs> you know when you've just got too much choice? I think that's what I'm faced with right now, guys. Yeah, let's go this one. <laughs> Lovely card. Oh, you're very, you're very kind, Bernadette. It's okay. So let's get some lovely... Shall we pop a sequin in some of the stars here? So I'm going to do three there. And then two up here. I know the rule of thumb is three, but we're going to go... Oh, we've got some purple ones in there as well. Oh, stick them on anyway, eh? And, oh, I'm going to just add a third up there because, yeah, it doesn't look right. Need more glue. It's the only time I'm quiet when I'm trying to stick a sequin on. I 
and a little mini one there. We'll do that in a cluster of three. So everything I'm using, sequins, tools, uh, storage, all available on the website. Go and have a look in your own time. So there we go. I'm quite chuffed with that one. Um, you know, I'd, I would take the time to colour the flowers, but whoever gets it, maybe they could take the time to colour the flowers and then we'll do it as a joint effort on social media, hey? So all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air and everything that I've used, including the card, will be sent to one lucky winner as well. And I will probably announce that next time I'm in the studio, which is Friday, guess what, with Carly. Friday with Carly amazing and she's got a corking show so come and say hi if you've got some eye marler and you're wanting a little bit of inspiration Carly's is going to be here with a bundle of joy that she is smiley happy face and i think it's going to be something like say 40 percent on eye marler so if you are an eye marler fan you need to come and say hello so there we go that's the finished card for today using the new stamps the stencils the eyes ink amazing and that lovely cheshire cover plate die in the background as well you will have ideas already for what you're going to do with these beautiful products if there is nothing coming to mind and you're saying to yourself I don't know what I'd do with it. Don't buy it because you will not use it. But if you're sat there thinking, I could do this, I could do that. I have an idea for this. I have an idea for that. And it's going to be a great purchase for you. So that's it. Me done. Don't forget to pop a comment underneath here about anything. Be kind. That's all I ask. And I will pick a winner for all of the products that I've used in show today. Lovely to see you all. Thanks for taking the time to come and say hi. And I'll see you all later in the week. Friday, one o'clock, Carly with iMala. See you all later, guys. Take care. Bye.